It's called shifting cylindrical form. It has some shifting action. It will help you even release more of your body energy, okay, through your hand. Okay, now watch, watch this. The first section, the totally built energy, have no different from the traditional stationary form. So I'm going to show you a little bit quickly. Shifting session come to play. As you can just see that you apply the shifting movement of your body, you can develop more power on your second section and third section. Let me go through exactly how your feet shift, okay? You need to look down to your feet and look at it and have your feet move and pivot on your heel. So very much like this. So you look down on your feet very much like a windshield wiper. They only pivot at the bottom, which is your heels, okay? So another exercise I can show you is why we shift because we want to avoid being the center target. We're going to shift to the side. Now I have most of my weight on this leg, and this leg is a little bit on the light side, okay? You can call 70-30 or 80-20. It doesn't matter as long as you have a heavier sitting leg, okay? Now, how do you pivot? You lean forward slightly. So that means it was 30, it was 30, 70. Now I'm gonna come back to 50, 50. Now I'm gonna shift. Now I just swap. This become heavy leg, 70, 30. 50, 50. 70, 30. 50, 50. 70, 30. 50, 50. When you do the 50, 50, make sure you bend your knee but don't lean forward. Lean forward, your, your, your leg on the front will become too heavy already to shift. You cannot shift here. You have to bring it to by bending your knee so your body still remains straight or vertical. Then you shift. How that play on the punch instead of straight line punch now? Now you can deliver more punch, more power by shifting. Of course, the relaxation, you don't forget.
the more relaxed, the more power you can develop. So shifting and relaxation will give you more power to release.